Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris60, and today is a very, very important day because we're going to be covering something that's really, really crucial, and that is relationships. Now, my personal theory is getting laid is pretty easy. I mean, especially if you've been studying these materials, you should be getting better at meeting women, taking them home, but that's the good news. The bad news is the real most important part of the game is getting good at relationships. That's really the make or break advanced level. Like we said, any guy can really, you know, after learning this stuff, can go out and pick up a woman, but being able to keep her, keep her attracted, keep her interested, that's where the game is. Now, I know personally guys who are really, really good at picking up women, but then you talk to them in their personal life and they're just absolutely horrible with girls. I know. You know, a guy who's one of the best pickup artists in the world, you know, going through divorces, problems, all these things because, you know, he picked the wrong woman. And this can really happen to anybody. So I think this is a really, really important thing to get down. So I have Leanne again back with us today and Krista. And they're, they're here because we want to get the female point of view as well. Um, I'll kind of say things from what a guy thinks and I'd like to hear their comments. Now we might not agree on everything today, but I think you can learn a lot from you know, what they're thinking in their mind and then kind of how you approach relationships to really, really get better with women. All right guys, so before we even get into it, we really want to go over the five kind of golden rules of relationships. These are things like the core things you absolutely need to know before you even get into any uh, relationship with a girl. Now the first one is, is pretty interesting. You have to be fine being single and being in a relationship. So if you're a guy and you wanna you know, get a girlfriend and stuff, you have to be happy with what you have right now. Now I'm in a relationship myself and actually I like being single. So either way, I feel like I'm gonna be happy. Like I want it to work out, you know, I hope everything goes well, but if it didn't, you know, the single life can be fun too. I wouldn't feel lonely. I would feel like I could get somebody else. So once you kind of internalize that in your mind, I think women look at you differently. How do you feel about stuff like that? I mean, if you are okay being single, then you don't go looking for love in all the wrong places. You don't go looking for a relationship because then you end up kind of settling if, that's, if you just want a relationship. If you're good by yourself and you're good single, you can just have fun. And if the right girl comes along, then you know. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of what happened with me. Like, I never thought that I would, you know, be with somebody or even want, like, you know, a lot of times in my life, I'm like, oh, I'll be single forever. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> but then when a girl, you said, when comes along, that's so great. It's like, you have to take that. You're not, like, mm -hmm. settling. You're, you're getting what you want. You got the game changer. She changed the game for you. Right. <laughs> yeah, and if you're comfortable with yourself, it makes you know what you want. Like, when I actually, I liked being single for a little bit of time. I'm more of a relationship person, but I liked it because you actually get to learn what you like and what you don't like. Mm -hmm. Not when, what the person that you're with likes and what, like, what yeah. you completely on your own. It's almost like you're dating yourself. Like, what places do you like to go to? What food do you like to eat? Mm -hmm. um, personality traits. But sometimes if you're not comfortable with yourself and you're just all over the place, you start to date in almost like a desperate way where you'll wind up, I mean, I have some friends that will just, not that they'll date anyone, but they're, they're looking for love like all the time that they'll just try <laughs> everything. Yeah, everything right. becomes a sign. And yeah. it's like, that's not the way it's supposed to be, you know, just right. like chill out by yourself. And then if someone is amazing, you'll know, you'll know the difference. Yeah, I think a good attitude is like, at least for me, I don't try to think like the single life's better or relationship's life better. It's just different. Like a lot of single people will be like, oh, how could you be in a relationship? We're having so much fun. It's almost you could feel that neediness, like they're really just trying to compensate. Uh -huh. In a relationship, totally. people that are like, why are you still going out to the bars and clubs? It's like, I look at it both ways. It's cool. Like I'm happy doing this. I'll be happy doing that. It, it has mm -hmm. its trade-offs. You know, like if you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, like a Tuesday night can be awesome. Where a single right. person's like bored at home, you could have the best time and like, but also, oh, who's to say that one or the other have to stop? Like, I, you know, we're not, whenever I'm in a relationship, I'm still out going to bars. But now you can either go with your friends or you have a partner to go with. Like, I like mm -hmm. when you're with someone and you enjoy doing the same things and you have, like, a actually partner in crime. Yeah, that's a good yeah. point. Yeah, you get to have sex with. I know, <laughs> totally. <laughs> it's a guarantee. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so second golden rule here, before you even get into relationships, something you have to understand is we all want girlfriends, we love women. The thing is, these girls are great, but even if I end up dating her, 
this is not going to solve all my problems. I can't think like that. Like, my life's never going to start. Nothing's going to be good until I get her. Even mm -hmm. if I do get you, you know, all those other things in my life, you know, they might be a little better, but it's not going to solve everything. True. I mean, you need to feel like, for the most part, you're 100%. Before, even though you have your problems, your ups, your downs, if you have a balance, if you feel like you're 100%, then you can be with someone else. If you're kind of like insecure, or you've got a lot of problems, or maybe you're in debt and that's like, a, it takes a big toll in your life, you can't be with someone else because you're gonna like put so much stress on them. Right. Like you're gonna look to them for answers. They can't be, they can't be 150% because you're missing 50. You right. know, it has to be like 100% and 100%. Yeah, like being in a relationship should just be like a bonus and, a, and an addition to your life. You should be your own independent person, like have your own career, your own life, your own friends, like whatever else you do, and then you join together and then they have their own life. But Yeah, um, I like the I bonus. Mean, bonus is a good way to put it. Yeah, it's a bonus. because it is. Like it just, you know, for me at least, it just, I have my own life going on. And then the person that I'm with just adds, like, it's just a bonus to... But I feel like sometimes guys really don't have. think that way. And then it's a disappointment. Mm -hmm. It's like, all right, now I got the girl. Now everything should be great. I've always wanted this. And then mm -hmm. it's like, when you don't feel that, you feel disappointed. But that's that's on you. You should be building your own life, yeah. kind of like you said. It's like, life still happens. There's still going to be problems. If, you, if you're with a good person, they'll make those problems seem, you know... A little bit better they'll support you through things like emotionally mentally but they can't be like the answer to everything it can't complete you all right guys so golden rule number three before you can even get into a relationship I talk to guys a lot about this is you need that experience being able to walk away being able to walk away from the deal even a girl she's beautiful you know look at these good-looking girls it's like but if she's not for you, you have to say, you know what, this isn't for me, I can walk away. And it sounds easier said than done, but, you know, I, I hear guys all the time, like, you know, you always hear the, like, like, they'll break, like, a girl will break up with them, but they'll still hang around them or try to be with them. It's like, they just don't walk away, or they'll make, like, some excuse, like, oh, well, maybe I'll hook up with her one last time. It's like, dude, is that really worth it? Just walk away, start new, meet somebody else kind of thing. And once you get that experience, I feel like you're more confident to find what you want. Yeah, I mean, I'm a firm believer of, like, red flags. I think even if it doesn't always have to be, like, if you're in a relationship for, like, years. It could just be maybe you're dating for, like, a few months. But I even tell all my friends this. Like, if there's a red flag, there's a red flag for a reason. Everyone wants to, like, turn the blind eye and ignore it because you want this relationship to work so badly. But I very rarely mm -hmm. saw that when red flags pop up, yeah. It just works out because I think everyone ignores them. And it is with experience of walking away, it definitely makes it easier. Because I know um, once I either had to leave someone or had my heart broken, it becomes easier. And it's almost a little bit exciting in a way to know like once you're um, through with that relationship, like there's going to be something, you know, maybe like better coming along. That's true, especially like with the red flags, you get to know what is a deal breaker and what is it. So that makes yeah. it easier the more right. you keep dating. <laughs> Sometimes people stay in relationships so much longer than they should have. Totally. Totally. Yeah. All right, guys, so fourth golden rule, and I get this a lot. A lot of people get into kind of like, you know, the pickup community, getting girls because they think, you know, then once I get. Uh, a girlfriend, I don't have to learn this stuff anymore. I can just, you know, it's, it's, I can throw everything away. I don't have to learn. And I don't really feel it's like that. I feel you still have to keep learning about women, learn what attracts them and things, because you're going to you hopefully attracting your own girlfriend every day as well. Mm -hmm. So it's not something you learn and just kind of, and just can forget. You have to remember that you have to be good with women. Now, you want your girlfriend to look at you, like socializing and stuff, and you'd be like, you know what, Chris is pretty good with women. And not in a mean way, like, you know, throwing it in her face, but I mm -hmm. think that would attract a girl be like, wow, I have a good catch here. Like, this guy is yeah. good around women. Yeah, like, if you're personable and charismatic and she's going to think like, oh, these girls are like into that and they're like looking at him, you know, right. it, it makes you sexier. It's like you're not trying to pick up other women, but you're just being desirable. Yeah. And being confident, which we always say is the most, <laughs> the most the sexiest. <laughs> the sexiest thing. It really right. is. So yeah, it, it's not about like I would never like look across the room and 
be annoyed. I would just mm-hmm. like appreciate that you were social and confident and yeah. and yeah, maybe thinking that yeah. one of the girls did find you attractive, but yeah, I think it's a cool. fine line. So like, you shouldn't just go out and try to be like, oh, I'll show her, or, like, I can get other girls. Yeah, I think it's a, subtle, it's a subtle, it's a subtle thing. Because it's, it's not thing. blatantly like flirting in front of her face, and you don't want to like, right. disrespect her. But right. maybe you're just being a gentleman at at a nice restaurant with your girlfriend and like the waitress just notices right. that you know and you know and the girl knows that she notices that and you're like yeah it's my man mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> it makes, makes her proud. happy make yeah. a woman smile all that <laughs> stuff does. so because you hear a lot like guys like at least clients that i have sometimes like they'll be out of the dating scene so long and they get back into it they're like i have absolutely no clue what to do with women and I'm like, all right, that's okay, but why didn't you kind of keep up with what's going on? It's like you just can't throw everything out and think, even if you're in a relationship, you want to know. You know, I feel like women still learn. They read magazines, they talk and stuff. Just in case they were ever single, you would know what to do. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, so fifth golden rule of relationships. This is, again, stuff you get this down before you even consider getting a relationship because you'll absolutely get killed if you don't know this stuff. You really need to know it. <laughs> Um, number five is don't overlook someone's negative qualities just because you're in love. You know, just try to keep a little slice of just being rational, mm-hmm. seeing what this person is all about. And we're not saying don't enjoy your feelings. Have a great time. And that's, especially at the beginning of a relationship, it's awesome. But it's like, don't, just let it cloud your judgment totally about what a person is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, everyone has negative qualities, but it really also depends on what they are. Like, no one's perfect, you know, I'm sure they're gonna, you know, the guy's mm-hmm. gonna be annoyed with some things the girl does, like vice versa. But I think you should always keep them in your mind, but are they fixable things or is this just who the person yeah. is and how bad are they? Like if it really bothers you, you should kind of bring it up. Like a good example I have is my boyfriend is a smoker and he knows I don't like it. And so he smokes cigarettes and I just, every now and again, I just remind him that I don't like it because I don't want him to think I'm encouraging yeah. it because I uh, love him. I want him to know that at some point this is really going to annoy the hell out of me. But is that something that's like a make or break? It's, it's not a make or break, but I'm hoping he would kind of either yeah. slow down a lot or quit in the closer to near future. Right. So these are like girls talking about that, like what you know could turn them off potentially or make or break. As a guy, you should kind of have those things, your own kind of list. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's a bad idea to kind of write down what you're looking for, what you know, kind of, like you said, is a deal breaker. Now you don't have to stick to it strictly, but just get an idea about what you're looking for and and even better, what you're not looking for. 